Developing news right now, a grieving husband has filed a lawsuit against the woman accused of driving drunk and killing the woman he married just hours earlier. Several bars and restaurants across the area have also been named in that lawsuit. We have team on the timeline of the path that Jamie Komorowski is accused of taking the day of that crash. But first, News 2's Raymond Owens spoke with attorneys that were involved in this case. And Raymond joins us now live outside that attorney's office in downtown Charleston. And Raymond, a lot of accusations in this lawsuit. Tell us more about it. All right, I'm, I have a copy of the lawsuit right here, and it was a, a number of of uh, defendants have been charged in this mainly uh, Folly Beach bars along the Folly Beach area. And when the lawsuit basically says that Komorowski was uh, getting drunk, uh, basically bar hopping from bar to bar uh, the night of the crash and that they were continuing to serve her alcohol even though she was clearly and visibly drunk. Now, the lawsuit also claims that uh, she went to a number of those bars, like I said, prior to the crash itself. She went to El Gallo Bar bar and grill near Daniel Island. Then she went over to Folly Beach to Snapper Jacks, the Crab Shack and the drop in bar. The suit claims the bar served her more alcohol, even though they say they have witnesses and video that shows she was clearly very drunk. The lawsuit says Komorowski was an employee at Taco Boy on Folly Beach and that her employer regularly served alcohol at parties after work, including the night of the crash at at least one location. So I went to Taco Boy to try to speak to their management about this lawsuit. They didn't want to talk to me there. I also went to Snapper Jacks and they had no comment on the lawsuit. At the Folly Beach Crab Shack next door, they had no comment. And that's also what the employee at the drop-in bar told me as well. Now I'm told by the lawyers who filed this lawsuit that the family is hoping the lawsuit might cause others to think twice before drinking and driving. If this stops, you know, one person from getting in their car while intoxicated or helps someone have the courage to step up and stop that from happening or helps an establishment really take a hard stand on over serving people, you know, that's something positive that can come out of, out of this. Now the defendants have 30 days to respond to this lawsuit and lawyers from Mickelson Dalton tell me that they expect to get additional information in the future and they will update us on that and we'll bring it, of course, to you. Live in downtown Charleston, I'm Raymond Owens. Count on two. All right, Raymond, thanks so much. And like he said, the lawsuit revealing new details about where Jamie Komorowski was the night of that deadly crash before she got behind the wheel. Attorneys say through pictures, video and witnesses, they did learn that Komorowski visited several bars on April 28th where she was allegedly served and consumed large amounts of alcohol. Now, according to the lawsuit, Komorowski began at El Gallo Bar and Grill on Clements Ferry Road near Daniel Island before she made her way to Folly Beach. There, she began, quote, bar hopping down Center Street and made several different stops at the drop-in, the Crab Shack, and Snapper Jacks. The lawsuit says over the course of several hours, Komorowski was visibly intoxicated, and when she left the bars and began driving on East Ashley Avenue, she was driving in the opposite direction of her home on James Island. They say she reached speeds of around 65 miles per hour in an area with a speed limit of 25. Then around 10 p.m., according to police reports, a deadly crash happened. Komorowski ran into the back of the golf cart carrying the bride and groom. Komorowski was arrested and taken to Folly Beach Police Headquarters and the hospital for blood testing until she was booked into jail at 3 a.m. on April 29th. Now, of course, this is a story that we have been following closely for weeks. We have the full 28-page lawsuit posted on our website, countonto.com.